Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, September 27th, and it's overcast and drizzly, and it's going to be in the 70s today, but it's just going to be a wet day, you know, it's kind of, kind of unfortunate. Just lighting up a bowl of haunted bookshop in my Rick Black Morta. And yeah, it's been a it's been an eventful morning already. So I've uh, we did a live stream on Friday, a lot of fun. It was a solo live stream. What I've been calling a virtual pipe club. And a great time. You know, lots, lots of, lots of fun in the, the live chat as there always is, and unfortunately, so I, I did this as a bit of an experiment, trying out some new software and camera and things like that, because uh, I'm hoping to be able to use this to do a bit more than I normally do with the live stream. So currently, the live stream is just, you know, me sitting there like. Uh, like I am right now and one of the problems that I don't like is you start the live stream but you don't actually know when it starts for the people watching because there's a lag so there's always this period of time of me sitting here saying can you hear me yet and it, it just isn't it doesn't look good so I I've been playing with trying to put a little intro in before the stream starts and I realized I was going to do like trivia questions and stuff, but I realized that while that's nice and all, it, if somebody just comes across the live stream and wants to see what it's about, they might not want to sit through 10 minutes of trivia questions to get to the to the actual meat of the, the live stream. So I probably won't do that in the future, but maybe just a short like minute or two uh, intro screen, just so that I don't have to do that cold start. I can I can actually know that you're seeing me when I start talking. Anyway, that's a long way of saying that I, I got this all set up and it seemed to work beautifully. But the problem that I've had with this is that the live stream chat doesn't show up. And it's been kind of sketchy. I've, I've done a couple of experiments with this uh, as lunchtime chats. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So. I was looking for, you know, YouTube support and you know, potential answers to why this might happen, and I saw that there's a live chat thing that you can do with YouTube, and I thought, well, there's not going to be any live chat available at 7.30 on a Sunday morning. Sure enough, uh, there was, and uh, I talked to a guy named Ryan who was very, very kind and professional, and tried to figure out what the problem was, thinks he solved it, uh, he's refreshed the video and he said it may take up to 24 hours for the, the live stream chat to show up. So we'll see if that works. Uh, the reason I'm telling the story is that I was really impressed that I could get live help at 7.30 on a Sunday morning from YouTube. You know, I say a lot of, a lot of negative things about YouTube these days, uh, you know, the don't get notifications and I'm getting unsubscribed to people and all that. but. I thought it was important to say something positive. That it's a good deal that you can you can get that kind of support given that you pay absolutely nothing to uh, to have it. Of course, they're making plenty of money on the advertising, so it all works out in the end. Uh, I haven't gotten this pipe going yet. There we go. So. Yesterday was our wedding anniversary. Uh, my wife and I have been married for 22 years now. Um, I keep getting that number wrong, but she promises me that it is 22 years. I thought it was closer to 25, and it's funny, I've been thinking it's our 25th wedding anniversary for about six years now. <laughs> um, not, not that it feels like a longer amount of time, it just seems like it should be, and 
Uh, anyway, we, we, we both get confused about it. We have to say, okay, we were married in 98 and, you know, okay, do the subtraction and everything. Um, but yeah, 22 years. So I thought maybe today I would tell the story of how I actually met my wife. And I mean, it's not how I actually met her, but it's how I kind of got closer to her, I guess I should say. So I was working at the University of Pittsburgh. I was a graduate student, and my wife was working in um, the fiscal office of the department. So she was the person that when I wanted to order something, I would fill out a form. And these were back in the days of uh, handwritten forms. So there would be this photo, photostat, uh, photostat, uh, photocopy form that I would take and I'd have to, you know, what the vendor is, uh, what the item is, and then the catalog number. And I would give this to her. And she was just this, this person that, uh, you know, she was very pleasant. I, I liked talking to her and stuff, but she was just another person that I worked with. So, I worked at the time with um, protozoa. So if you don't know what protozoa are, they're the little squiggly things that you can see in pond water if you look under a microscope. And I was doing research on a certain protozoa because it, it you know, I, I don't want to get into the details of why I was doing the research. Uh, I, my main area of interest is brain biology, so it's a little odd that I was working on these guys, but they were sort of a model system of, of how a uh, neuron, a cell in your brain might work. Anyway, I was working on them. And I needed to order some uh, other protozoa that they eat. So I was buying their food. And there's a company called Carolina Biological this, that uh, I assume still exists. And you can buy all sorts of things from Carolina Biological. You know, you can, you can actually just buy a little vial of protozoa from them and it arrives live. And if you've got the right media to put it in, you can you can grow them. Um, so that's pretty cool. So I ordered these, uh, you know, filled out the form and all, and put the catalog number in. And, you know, usually a week later, the thing would show up. Very different from the way things work today. You know, now I just go to a web page that is linked to SAP, and I pick the thing that I want, and in about two days, the thing that I want is there. Uh, very, very different process. Anyway, I drop the form off, I wait a week, and a box arrives. And I, I looked at the box and I thought, huh, that's a pretty big box for a little vial of uh, protozoa. I opened the box up, and it was a um, <laughs> grow your own butterfly kit. So, <laughs> the it was a it, it was a couple of um, caterpillars and a little cage that you <laughs> put the caterpillars in and instructions on how to feed them and everything and uh, you know they would it, it was it was a the sort of thing that you would use if you if you had like a grade school science class or something so <laughs> I thought this isn't what I want. And I went down and I said, you know, I ordered this and this is what arrived. And he said, no, that's what you ordered. And so we pulled out the form and uh, what had happened was, I, my handwriting is terrible. And I, the, the catalog number was something like 13J725 or something like that. It was thir 13 was the beginning of it. And... Uh, the way I wrote the 13, she read it as a B, you know, the 1 and the 3. So she ordered BJ715 or whatever. And that was the Grow Your Own Butterfly Kit. And it's it, it's just remarkable coincidence that that turned out to actually be a valid catalog number. Well, 
I got teased mercilessly about this. Uh, you know, Mike's growing butterflies, and I got you know, people leaving butterfly pictures in my mailbox, and it just, it was, it was a nightmare. And my wife was very insistent that what I wrote was a B. And I was very insistent that what I wrote was a 13. But to be honest, when I looked at it, I could see how she thought it was a B. Anyway, this led to lots of good nature ribbing between the two of us, and uh, eventually we wound up going to a party separately, but we both knew that we were going to be there, and uh, yeah, the rest is kind of history. But uh, it's funny how these little things change the whole course of your life. You know, she was she's a wonderful person, and, and I, like I said, I enjoyed working with her, but I just never thought of her as uh, as a friend, as a uh, you know someone that I would spend time with, because uh, she was kind of in a different world from me. You know, she was in that physical office administrative world, and I was in the lab doing science. And uh, boy, was I lucky that I have bad handwriting, because if it wasn't for that, probably never would have got together. It's funny how these little, little things can, can change the whole course of your life. And if you think about it, it's really remarkable that, you know, we don't have children, but if we did, those children would only exist because of that one example of my bad handwriting. Um, it, it changes the whole course of the world when you know these these little things you're not even thinking about. It's fascinating. So yesterday we we didn't do much. We just kind of hang around. We watched some TV. Got some takeout. We started to watch a movie. Ford versus Ferrari, I think is the name of it. The movie that I've been wanting to see for a while now. Um, uh, about uh, Shelby. And uh, it's pretty, pretty interesting so far. I've only watched like about 15, 20 minutes of it. And then a friend of hers called and the friend had fallen and got hurt. And, you know, so that ended the, the evening she had to talk to the friend, which is good. So maybe we'll finish that movie this evening. Probably not going to do very much in the in the shop today at all. Um, Got to gotta go get some groceries. Got to... Um, I promised to make some, uh, some scones. She likes these... Uh, orange cranberry scones that I found a recipe for ages ago and I promised to make them yesterday but we didn't actually have the oranges and I didn't get around to going to the grocery store yesterday so I'll tie this up and uh, once it's uh, heading out to you I'll go over to the grocery store and get get a few things come home make some scones See what the day has in store for us. This uh, coming Friday, we're going to have a great show. We got Mel Harris, the Garbage Man Piper, is going to be my guest on uh, King Rod Pipes Live conversation with pipe smokers. So that's Friday at 8 p.m. on this channel. Uh, it's a live stream event, so mark your calendars. Does anybody mark their calendars anymore? Probably calendars that actually get marked have gone the way of uh, ordering forms that actually get filled out by hand. But Mel's going to be a lot of fun. I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, to that chat. All right, folks, that's pretty much all I got to say today. So I'm going to let you get on with your Sunday. Y'all have a great one. Enjoy the week ahead.
maybe see you on Wednesday. If not, I'll definitely see you on Friday evening. Take care, guys. And until we talk again, I look forward to speaking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.